Inshallah, in today's class, we are going to do questions on orthogonal trajectory to find the orthogonal trajectory of the given curves when the curves are given in polar coordinates. Polar coordinates when the curves are given in the form of r comma theta. In the form of r comma theta. Let me discuss first the procedure. Suppose the given equation is f of r comma theta comma c. Where c is the parameter. Where c is the parameter. First, we have to differentiate r with respect to theta and we have to eliminate, remove this c. Differentiate r with respect to theta and eliminate c, remove c. Suppose after removing c, we get the equation r comma theta comma dr by theta equals to 0 f of. Now, for orthogonal trajectory, we have to replace dr by d theta. We have to replace for orthogonal trajectory, substitute dr by d theta equals to minus r square d theta by dr. This is the method for orthogonal trajectory. We have to replace dr by d theta with in place we have to change minus r square d theta by d. So in place of dr by d theta we are writing minus r square d theta by d. Now after this we have to solve the equations according to the differential equation methods. And one more thing is for this type of questions for polar coordinates, it the question will become easier if we apply log for this type of questions. If we apply log, the constant will already uh, will become zero when we differentiate. So it, it is easy to take out the parameter. When we do questions, let me practice that. Now you just recall the formulas log a b is log a plus log b. Log a by b is log a minus log b. And log a power m is m log a. So revise this uh, method once or twice inshallah we will do practical questions on this now see here on the board find the orthogonal trajectory for the family of course we have written some questions we uh, see in the board there are three questions let us start with the first one now just explained i explained if we apply log on both sets it will be easier so i am applying log here so this will be log r equals to log of a into 1 minus cos t now you take this as log a b, log a b is log a plus log b. So this will become log r equals to log a means log a plus in place of b are you having 1 minus cos theta, log of 1 minus cos theta. Now let me differentiate this one, differentiation of r with respect to theta, with respect to theta. Now d by dx of r will be log x is 1 by x d by dx of log x is 1 by x. So, d by dx of log r will be 1 by r. But, if we differentiate r, we have to write dr with respect to theta, dr by d. Now, this is constant. So this will be eliminated automatically. This is constant. The differentiation of constant is 0. Log, you feel this all as x log x. You suppose this as x log x. d by dx of log x is 1 by x, so 1 by 1 minus cos theta into again differentiate this one constant zero d by dx of cos is minus sine so already there is minus minus or minus will become plus sine theta plus sine theta okay now for orthogonal trajectory what we write for orthogonal trajectory for orthogonal trajectory what we will do replace dr by d theta equals to minus r square d theta by dr d theta by so 1 by r into we have to replace this for orthogonal trajectory in place of dr by theta we write minus r square d theta by dr equals let me see, see here let me write two formulas here we can change the sine theta the formula of sine theta is sine a is 2 sine a by 2 cos a by 2 we can write sine a is 2 sine a by 2 cos a by 2 in the same way sine cos 1 minus cos a, 1 minus cos a, we have the formula 2 sin squared a by 2 sin squared. Let me change now, 1 into sin theta is sin theta, sin theta we can write 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 by 1 minus cos a is 2 sin squared a by 2. Now let me continue, let me cancel the terms. See here this r and r will be cancelled. What is left here minus r d theta by dr equals to 2 2 will get cancelled the sine and square is cancelled cos by sine will be cot so this will be cot theta by 2 cot theta 
no cross multiply this here it will be minus r d theta equals to cot theta by 2 dr let we change we write with with d theta you write cot theta you bring this r here cot here it will be my also bringing minus here okay what is left here d theta by cot theta by 2 d theta by cot theta by 2 okay minus i am bringing here equals to minus dr by r minus dr by r now see here let me see you bring if you bring cot from in the numerator it will become tan so this will be tan theta by 2 equals to minus 1 by r dr now you apply log on both sides sorry d theta here so if sorry now integrate both sides integrate both sides integration of tan theta by 2 d theta equals to minus integration of 1 by r dr now let me discuss one formula here you see here this is the basic formula let me discuss here suppose you are having see, see here integration of tan x integration of tan x will be log of mod secant x integration of tan x is log of mod secant x suppose you are having like this integration of tan ax so this will bring a log of mod secant ax but when we are we integrate if we are having some coefficient with a with x coefficient with x we have to divide by a we have to divide by the coefficient integration of tan is log of secant ax this a you have to divide in the same sense you see here integration of tan is log of mod secant x secant theta by 2 but we are having theta by 2 coefficient is 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 so divide by 1 by 2 equals to minus integration of 1 by x is log x log r because the answer we are getting all log we suppose constant in terms of log only when we get answers in term of complete log you don't write plus c but you write log of c constant also you write in terms of log so you bring this two here it will be 2 log of mod secant theta by 2 so log a minus log b will be log a by b, c by r c by r now you see here let me continue if we bring 2 in the numerator sorry there is a formula m log a this m log a will become log a power m this 2 will become here the power of secant this 2 will become the power of secant see here i am writing here log of secant square theta by 2 equals to log of c by now you cancel both sides log if you take out both sides log what is left here secant square theta by 2 equals to c by now the last step let me change bring this r here so we can write like this r into secant square theta by 2 equals to c so these are the orthogonal trajectory of the given curves now let me try the next question just now we have continued uh, we have done this question apply log on both sides so this will be log r power n sin n theta equals to log a power n. now you can you suppose this as log a b log a b is log a plus log b so log a means r power n plus log b is log of sin n theta you can write this n here it will be n log the formula is log a power m is n log now just you bring this n here so n log r plus log of sin n theta equals to n log a now let me differentiate differentiation of r with respect to with respect to theta so let me differentiate so n as it is integration of one log x is 1 by x so this will be 1 by r when we differentiate r we have to write dr by d theta now here first you suppose this all as x log x d by dx of log x is 1 by x 1 by sin n theta next d by dx of sin is cos so next will be cos n theta now with n theta n theta differentiation of theta is 1 1 into n will be n this is constant a is constant the constant differentiation is 0 see here log x is 1 by x so 1 by sin n theta and d by dx of sin is cos n theta and d by dx of n theta is n now you do one thing 
let me take n common from both if we take n common what is left here 1 by r dr by d theta plus we have taken n common cos by sin will be cot cot n theta equals to 0 if you bring n here it will become 0 no for orthogonal trajectory let me change for orthogonal trajectory what we have to change we have to replace dr by d theta in by minus r squared d theta by dr now let me change n, n will become 0 on the other side i am continuing here 1 by r now this will become minus r squared d theta by dr plus cot n theta let me do one thing i am bringing this cot on the other side it will be minus cot n theta once more see here 1 by r in place of dr by theta minus r square d theta by dr cot on the other side minus this minus minus will get cancelled r n square get cancelled cross multiply this r d theta equals to cot n theta dr now bring r here with dr theta with here we can write it like this d theta by bring this cot here this is cot n theta equals to dr by r now if you bring cot in the numerator it will become tan tan n theta d theta equals to 1 by r dr now we apply both sides integrate both sides so therefore integration of tan n theta d theta equals to integration of 1 by r dr now let me see the concept what is integration of tan ax tan ax integration of tan is log of secant log of secant ax integration of tan is log of secant but with x we are having a no we have to divide by a we have to divide by a in the same sense integration of sec tan will be secant secant n theta but sorry log of secant n theta log of secant n theta integration of tan n theta is log of secant n theta but with theta we are having n so divide by n integration of 1 by x is log x so this will be log r just now we discuss if we get answer complete in log you take constant also in terms of log log c now log a plus log b will be log a b i am bringing this n here you see here i am writing here log of secant n theta equals to this n here n into log a plus log b is log a b log r into c now see here we can cancel log on both sides but we have to first take out n from here let you do the thing if you take out n from here it will be the power of r and power c and sorry r c power n we can write like this log of mod secant n theta equals to log of r c power n now this log log will get cancelled now what is left here therefore secant n theta equals to r into c power n r into c power n now you see the next question that we apply log on both sides so this will become log r equals to log c into log c into secant theta plus tan theta now we can change this one log a b is log a plus log b so we can write like this log r equals to log a plus log b log c plus log of secant theta plus tan theta now let me differentiate now differentiate r with respect to theta so we'll get d by dx of log x is 1 by x 1 by r dr by d theta equals to d by dx of different constant is 0 log is suppose this as x log x d by dx of log x is 1 by x 1 by secant theta plus tan theta again d by dx of secant x is secant x tan x d by dx of secant theta will be secant theta tan theta plus d by dx of tan x is secant square x so this will become secant square theta this will become secant square theta. let me take secant theta from this common now see here i am writing 1 by r sorry 1 by r dr by d theta equals to take secant theta in the numerator common 
so what is left here here it is left with tan theta plus here it is left with secant theta divided by in the denominator we are having secant theta plus tan theta so let me cancel this one now what is left 1 by r dr by d theta equals to secant theta now let me replace dr by d theta for orthogonal trajectory we have to replace for orthogonal trajectory we have to replace dr by d theta equals to minus r square d theta by dr so this will become 1 by r into minus r square d theta by dr equals to secant theta now let me cancel this okay bring this here minus r d theta equals to secant theta dr bring this r here secant here minus also i'm bringing on the right side i'm writing like this d theta bring this secant theta here by sec sorry by secant theta by secant theta equals to minus 1 by r dr now bring the secant theta in the numerator it will become cos so cos theta d theta equals to minus 1 by r dr now apply log oh sorry indicate both sides integration of cos theta d theta equals to minus integration of 1 by r dr now integrate integration of cos is sin theta equals to minus integration 1 by x x log x log of r you just keep plus c constant now the last step let me bring minus here it will become plus so the last step we can leave here answer sin theta plus log of mod r equals to c so these are few questions based on the orthogonal trajectory when the question is given in polar coordinates inshallah in the next class we will continue with the newton's law of cooling inshallah so i request you all friends if you like this video if you under are understanding this so i request to share this and subscribe this video inshallah we will continue in the next class